enrolled in one of the COVID vaccine trials back in um, July of this year. Before I enrolled in the trial, uh, because this is a relatively new technology, although it's not new in the sense that it's never been uh, evaluated before, it's new in the sense of a broad, uh, a broad-based use in a large population of people. Uh, I, I, I decided I needed to, to uh, do a little bit of research about the technology itself. And first of all, what I found was this is just incredible um, cutting edge technology utilizing, um, utilizing techniques that have been developed over the last several years. I was, I was ready to go uh, once I read about the vaccine, once I um, had, uh, had seen the initial studies. Um, Two, two stages, two shots, uh, four weeks apart with the Moderna vaccine. The Pfizer vaccine is two shots, three weeks apart. So with the first shot, I just had the sore arm. Now, no way of knowing if that's just placebo effect or if that's the actual vaccine. But with the second shot, which I got four weeks later, uh, got the shot late in the day, it was afternoon. Um, the next morning, uh, I really noticed uh, a lot of uh, a lot of symptoms. I had kind of low grade body aches. Um, I had uh, a little bit of a headache. Uh, I felt a little draggy. Um, and then as the day progressed, um, those things accentuated a little bit. I did take some Tylenol, which took the edge off. That night, uh, as I was getting ready to go to bed, I had an episode of shaking chills. And so that. Um, combination of, of symptoms uh, was what I would have expected had I gotten the, the actual um, vaccine. So I'm, I'm fairly sure I got the actual vaccine. They've now published more data on the, the first set of 40 or 50 volunteers who got the vaccine before the large trial. And the ones who got the vaccine almost universally had those exact same symptoms. So that's what you can expect. Between the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine, which are both the messenger RNA vaccines, there's been over 30,000 people now who have received um, two doses of, of those vaccines. And to date, uh, you know, which is still just a matter of months, but to date, there have been no severe side effects beyond what I just described, which again is more or less typical for um, for one of these vaccines. So I'm completely comfortable with recommending either one of these vaccines. In fact, I'm very aggressive now with my patients in the clinic, encouraging them to be thinking about uh, getting the vaccine. Uh, they're safe and very effective. The effectiveness is uh, beyond what anybody really expected. There's a host of reasons why healthcare, is partic healthcare workers particularly should be thinking about this. First of all, you're incredibly valuable and you are all in short supply. Uh, we just don't, there just aren't enough healthcare workers to go around to risk losing, um, losing the contribution that you all make, uh, even for a short period of time. You have a responsibility to yourself, you have a responsibility to your family members, you have a responsibility to other people in the community, and most importantly, you have a responsibility to your patients uh, that you take care of um, to uh, keep yourself healthy. And uh, that's why I think it's really critical that all healthcare workers take advantage and, and get the vaccine when it's available to them. If anybody who, who watches the video has specific questions uh, of me, just, just give me a call. I'd be happy to discuss specifics. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have.